Hi Capricorn, and welcome to your August 2024 read. All right, Cappies, what's going on with Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus? All right, let's see what's going on. I'm using the Past Life Oracle to find the karmic thread. Let's just do it this way before we have to pick up, pick them all up. <laughs> Prayer. Some of you were monks and or nuns, or you have been very curiously um, thinking about um, not necessarily becoming a nun or a monk, but going within, right? Seeking prayer, praying for the things, believing in prayer and praying for those things in life that um, will bring us to our highest and best selves. Some of you were a nun and or a monk and you do believe and have faith. And what is that faith? That faith in yourself. You pray for others. Some of you um, look at it as you know, a monk is the spiritual path and the nun is the religious path. And we believe in one God. So guess what? That's why we bring both of our right and left hand together in prayer. Okay, so you understand it completely and realize it. And if you don't, now you do, right? It's not going to apply to all, but when we hit rock bottom, sometimes... What is the alternative, right? When we need, we need to get to our faith. And that's when sometimes, you know, circumstances beyond our control, that's where we turn to our spirituality, to our religious beliefs as one. Okay, let's go. Capricorn. Oh, look at this beautiful Palace of Wands. Taking action. Taking action. Let's get another one. Wow, look at this. The home and the kids. Living with your soulmate, having kids, two kids perhaps, or it's just moving in together, living together, being really happy living together, doing things also, because this is the Palace of Wands. So you, maybe, and your partner, you guys definitely do things with the kids. You're very active, which is beautiful. Some of you are with a Scorpio as a soulmate and or one of your kids are Scorps. And we have Leo Aries Sag here. So you're either dealing with a Leo Aries Sag, you have that in your chart as maybe a rising and or moon sign, Cappies. Wow, look at, this could be an Aries female. But you're definitely taking action and getting, really, putting your life together, being in charge, totally in charge. And being in charge doesn't mean anything but not controlling. Being, it's different. Being in charge means I'm putting you know, I'm making sure that I get my ducks in a row and I'm putting my life together as I rightfully believe I deserve. We come into this earth, on this earth, with, with everything, all the tools to love and to love others in however form that, you know, that it becomes. We love our children. We love our spouse differently as our children, right? Love comes in all different forms. This is a father, perhaps a mother, and the kids. But this is definitely taking complete action about doing stuff together. You know, you go on date nights. You also go and take the kids to the park. 
you play in the house with the kids. Maybe some of you have a nice yard, right? This card has a very, very, a flare of um, Buddhism. Some of you may be looking into Hindu, Buddhism, Sanskrit. Maybe you're looking into different religions and or belief systems also. And what's wrong with that, right? Look at who's here. I didn't even see her there, right? So Leo Aries Sag plays a huge role here. Okay. All right. She's the only one that was needed or needed to come out. Let's now continue with the vice versa deck. Capricorn, let's see. You could be a Capricorn Sag, right, on the cusp. Okay, let's just go. Can you see these? Let's see. Let's just take it from the top, right, and go right here and see what's, what is the Palace of Wands with the Six of Cups, which is beautiful. Some of you plant flowers, you do. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's you. Hello. This happens to me with Capricorns. I have no idea why. I don't. Capricorns, you are... Some of you are taking action in your in your um, in your money sector with your kids. Maybe it's it's buying a new home or moving, or this is your spouse. You are with a Scorpio or a Leo Aries Sag. You hold that pentacle right? Taking action. Maybe you earn more money. Let's look real quick right here. What's in the between? Oh my God, look at this. Six of cups. Wow. This is like a very beautiful, active family, loving family. This is your person without question. It came out twice. It could be Leo Aries Sag, but it could also mean this is a very beautiful depiction of a wonderful family with kids. You know, doing things with kids. Some of you walk, okay, I'm hearing Sylvain. Sylvain, you know, um, a little really cute, cutesy little town in California. I've been there and it has like a little town. I don't know if it has a bridge, but I do know that it has these little homes and these little shops and great places to eat. Selvang. It's it it is like Denmark, the Netherlands, right? It's very cute little maybe you're maybe you're headed you take off for the weekend with your kids and you go to Selvang, right? Something like that. I also feel the bridge, bridging the two together to make a very stable foundation for you and your children, without question. You literally just are very solid foundation here. You could be the rock of the family, right? You could be the deciding factor. You could be the one that makes all the plans and says, yeah, we're, let's go here this weekend. And on this weekend, we're doing this, that kind of thing. You're definitely taking charge and making sure that nothing gets in the way. Meaning, you know, there's, there's no um, negativity. It's very positive. We stay upbeat. We have fun together. And we've taken out of our lives, we've definitely taken, taken out people who are not trustworthy. If some, if you were dealing with a Leo Aries Sag feminine that wasn't trustworthy, she's she's gone. Someone got maybe someone got 
let's just see. Let's put this here. Again, let's give me one more card on the Queen of Wands. Truly. Oh, she's the liar. She lied. Someone has lied and got kicked to the curb. This, I don't know who, I almost want to say you have this Leo Aries Sag in your last read. Some feminine, could it could be a boss, an ex-boss, a sister, a sister-in-law. Someone lied. And you're like, you know what? Uh-uh. I'm standing up for what I believe in. I'm, I'm backing up my family and you're gone. Is that what happened with Capricorn, please? Look at someone may have what? Someone may have been talking shit behind your back about your kids. Something about children. Look at someone lied about your kids and pissed you off or lied to someone. Maybe it was a family member, right? Maybe someone lied about a family member. The eagle is flying, right? So the eagle is the highest bird of the bird species. So the truth set someone free. The truth, someone got literally kicked to the curb. Um, someone would love to have a pony and or a horse. Maybe you're thinking about it for a birthday present or you know, you're buying a house and it has land and you buy a pony or you're giving your child horseback lessons, horseback riding lessons. All right, let's look at the emperor. Wow, no love lost here. This could be an ex. This could be an ex. Someone's ex got kicked to the curb who is either a Leo Aries Sag here for sure. There's no love lost. It's like, you know what, you stay in your lane and we're staying in ours and you have to go because you lied. Right? Sorry, the um, grass is getting cut. Wow, look at that. And don't come back. Someone has red hair, like strawberry red and or strawberry blonde. We have one, one, and yeah. So you could be seeing 11. You have the two, six to, two sixes, which is what? It's a balance. So you're kind of um, rebalancing your life and any exes that come back into the fold to lie, it, they lied, they cheated, they, they manipulated a situation, they spoke of your kids or about one of your kids. What, let, let me look at what, the, what this sun reversed is. Maybe they, maybe they did something, they lied about your son or daughter, because it could be a daughter here. Let's look at the um, sun card reversed. Oh, wow. Someone didn't want to pay child support. Maybe someone wanted to, someone lied about money with regarding a children, a child, I'm sorry. And here's another one. One, one, one is big here. So you're definitely all new beginnings, a whole fresh start, everything starting. The, whatever bullshit ended, it ended. No love loss here at all. It could have been an ex-husband and or an ex-wife. And pulling some shit with a child. Look at, I'm not sure. If someone wanted to, what if an ex, 
wanted to spend a little extra time with a child. Right? Like, you know, maybe you already have the, you know, the 80-20, which is pretty typical in divorce, right? The feminine takes 80% of the child. That 10%, I feel someone wants, it. maybe it's 90-10 in your case. If it's a divorce, someone may, may want or have has fought to try to manipulate the system and get it to like, I want to take, you know, I want to take this child for 10% of the time. And, you know, you don't even know where they want to go. You know, you got to ask questions. I don't even think you want that to happen. Yeah. I think it was, it was next. Here's another 10. So we have now we have one, 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 one. So I feel that the person that you're with had an ex or you have an ex. Okay. And they wanted, maybe you have an ex with a child, right? And this child, they want, or they were hoping that they could see them anytime or utilize their 10% of maybe more of what time was allotted or they only get 10% and they're not happy about it. Yeah. Someone was like conniving. It already happened. See? Someone has been really down and out because they couldn't get more time with their kid. They are not allowed. They're not allowed to get more time. You have 1111, which is, to me, means you are definitely with the person that you belong with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and or it's in your chart. Okay, let's go over here real quick because I, I really, I hear I've had enough of this person. I really do. I felt like I don't like that this person wants 10% more time or maybe they were not given any time and they're pissed off. She's not reversed, though. All right, let's go to the um, Six of Cups twice for Capricorn, please. And this. Yeah, look at it. You're dealing with, right, you're, there is a, a huge, um, like a Virgo moon. So maybe Capricorn, you have Virgo moon and or rising in your chart. But let me tell you. You're very steadfast about who you give your time and energy to. And someone sees you as like, someone thought they, I feel like you're, I feel like you, all you want is peace with your person, right? This is the father Maybe a father on the other side is helping you to get through this with a daughter. Maybe someone grew up and a father protection. There's, there's massive protection here between a father and daughter. Protecting your kids, big time. And that kind of, this, this hermit, reversed makes me go right back to this like you have prayed because you believe in prayer over a child and or children ensuring their safety and protection is big here like i'm not kidding i want my child to be at peace i want to be at peace and we're not going to entertain someone who's arrogant an ex or maybe two exes. I don't know. Someone's very arrogant and was told 
they, they cannot have extra time or maybe they were not given any time. All right, let's, yeah. I mean, this is like, uh, no, I'm standing my ground. There is no, there is no choice. The, look at the full deer moon that we just had, the buck moon. You could have Virgo um, moon sign here, big time. A father and a daughter. I mean, no doubt about it. It's like, nope, we are not going to entertain like any, we're not entertaining any crap from, we're not taking it, right? We're just not. You have already felt this energy. This is the energy of, this is my, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to protect my family. And you do, I believe some of you do definitely pray at night for your family, right? I mean, where did, let's see, let's talk about that. Where did and when did prayer and praying fall off? When did it happen? And this is the real deal. You're with your significant person who backs you up like no one's business and protects your kids, their kids, who's ever kids. You have a solid, huge, solid foundation here. Mm -hmm. And this person may just be in the backdrop of, you know, trying to get what they can, coming back, trying to get what they can. Yeah. Are you kidding? Look at this. I'm ashamed. This is shame. How did I fuck up? Even though there's pentacles here, someone fucked up not spending enough time with their kids or a child. And they are regretful to say the least. They're regretful. I didn't spend enough time. And now they're throwing me out to the curb. Yep, look at that. Yeah, some, a father figure and or a mother. I feel it's an Leo Aries Sag. Take it, masculine, feminine. Really messed up. You have two fives. They have two fives. The change happens so, so that there's big change because it's like, you know what? I am not letting this person in. This person messed up. Oh, three fives. Oh my God. Oh my God. Three fives. That's a five of wands. Five of pentacles, five of wands and five of cups. Massive, massive regret. They lost, literally, I'm telling you, it's literal too. They lost their kids. And they are so sorry, sorry, but sorry doesn't count because this person's in charge. Again, you have a very dynamic couple here of masculine and feminine. Look, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if you're moon and or rising, you, you are a power couple, definitely. And look at this, hello. Oh yeah, the court system said no. The court said no, and you're not talking to this person. Absolutely, this Leo Aries Sag is history, and the change is for you guys, Capricorn, is oh yeah, we're happy. You're all about building and keeping this strong foundation very sturdy, no doubt from someone who fucked up. Yeah, someone's like, 
totally confused as to how this happened, but why should they be confused? Like, let's talk about it, right? Are you kidding? How could someone be confused? Okay, completion, um, solitude, and new beginning. I'm telling you right now, um, Sag had this, so you could be dealing with a Sag. Solitude, Virgo had this, and new beginnings, and I did, I feel it was Virgo having this card as well. So, what has completed full circle, full circle, is in the month of August, if you did go to court about someone's time with their kids, um, it is in your favor. It is a, a, um, it's a celebration, right? If, if it's, um, you know, there's a whole new life, a whole new beginning. Some of you may be deciding to just kind of like stay on the, you know, keep it on the DL. Don't answer any text messages and or calls from this Leo Aries Sag for sure. And at least for now, just keep it, you know, down on the DL. Because really and truly, your life now is starting as a whole new beginning. It's all new. Everything is new. What is done is done. And you did. You should be really proud of how you have protected your family. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. I mean, really. This wasn't easy. It wasn't. Because this person, especially when you're dealing with a fire sign, you know, you know what they say, don't fight fire with fire, right? And I don't, I believe that that's exactly what you didn't do because you already knew not to play with fire. Something about playing with fire, always be mindful with your kids. I love you guys. Have an awesome month. This is a great read. I mean, this is what truly parents are all about. Okay, take care and comment below.